Well, praise the Lord, everyone. Good morning, good morning. We welcome everyone again to Everyday Communion with Pastor Raymond. And as always, we encourage everyone, hey, go ahead and get your communion elements on this morning. It's time to take communion, bless God. All right, so this morning, our morning reading will be coming from the book of Lamentations, chapter 3, verses 21 through 23. And it reads, this I recall to my mind, therefore have I hope. It is of the Lord's mercies that we are not consumed, because his compassions fail not. They are new every morning. Great is thy faithfulness. The New Living Translation says, Thy faithful love, O Lord, never ends. His mercy never ceases. Great is his faithfulness. His mercies begin afresh each morning. My Lord. All right, so this week we're going to be discussing the mercy of God, all right? And what does this scripture here say about God's mercy? Hear what it says now. It says it never fails, it never ends, it never ceases, and it begins afresh every morning. My God, thank God for that, my Lord. It's because of God's mercy that we are not consumed, destroyed, and devoured, my God. And I'm going to go and make it personal. It's because of God's mercy that this boy is not consumed, destroyed, and devoured. Of all the dumb stuff that I have done, God had every right, if he desired to, to destroy, consume, and devour me. But he showed me mercy, my God. And not only showed me mercy, but continues here to show me mercy. All right? Now, listen to me now. I thank God that his mercy started afresh each morning. You know why? Because I need it each morning. <laughs> my God. He knew I would need a fresh batch of mercy every day, my God. So I thank God for his mercy, my Lord. And he knew I would need a new supply every day. Because, because my Lord, as, as we even shared on yesterday, the God is not finished with us yet. Each and every one of us, he's still working on us, my Lord. And as he's working on us, he knew and he knew that we need mercy, my God. So that's what we're going to be talking about on this week, my God. God's mercy that is fresh and new every day. And that is because of this mercy, my God, you can continue to grow and flourish and become all that God has called you to be. My Lord, God has not given up on you. He would never give up on you, my God. So I encourage you to hang in there with us on this week as we discuss God's mercy. Amen? Amen. So let's go ahead and take communion on this morning. Father, we love you. We bless you. We praise you, Father. We thank you for this new day and another opportunity you've given us to come before your table to commune with you and with one another, Father. And for that, we say thank you. And we take the bread right now, which represents the body of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus, you was wounded for our transgressions, bruised for our iniquities, the chastisement for our peace and our complete holiness was upon you and with and by your stripes we were healed therefore we are healed and we're healed right now from the crown of our heads to the soles of our feet in jesus name we do this in remembrance of you lord jesus thanking you for all you've done and every time we partake in communion all the covenant benefits rights and privileges are released and dispersed on the inside of us and we say thank you lord we honor and we bless you. We take the bread. We eat all of it. Thank you, Lord. And we take the cup. The cup of the blessing. The blood of Jesus. The blood of the new covenant. Because of you, Lord Jesus, we stand before the Father this morning, holy and blameless. The righteousness of God without fault, without blame. All of our sins, every single last one of them forgiven, never to be remembered again, never to be brought up again. And for that, we say, thank you, Lord Jesus. We take the cup and we drink all of it. Mm -hmm. Saying, thank you, Jesus. Yes, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Bless you, Lord. <laughs> my God, thank God for his mercy. My Lord, my Lord. We're going to get into it on this week, but my God, because of his mercy, my one definition of mercy is here is God's willingness to treat us as though we never sin. My God. <laughs> All right, let me get the blessing confession here this morning. The blessing of the Lord is upon me. My family is blessed. My marriage is blessed. My children are blessed. My house is blessed. My body is blessed. My mind is blessed. My finances are blessed. 
My business is blessed. My church is blessed. Everywhere I go and everything I do is blessed. The blessing of the Lord is working for me now. God has made all grace, every favor, and every earthly blessing abound towards me in abundance on today. Amen. Amen. We encourage you to believe that. Receive it even concerning this new week. My God, believe that God is doing great things and has great things in store for you and your household. Amen. Amen. So, Father, we love you. We bless you. We praise you, Father. We thank you, Father, for this new day. All you have in store for each and every one of us, Father. I shout grace, grace to every household that's watching. Father, I decree that the blessing is upon them. The favor of God is upon them, Father. I think that every need of every household is made in full with abundance and more than enough in Jesus' name. And we shout grace, grace, Father, to all those who need healing, who need health, who need strength in their bodies. Father, we decree you are the Lord our God, the healer for us, Father. And we receive the healing because we know you healed them all, Father. And we thank you for it and we love and we bless you in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Hey, God bless you guys. Again, thank you for joining us this morning. For everyday communion, Lord willing, we'll be back tomorrow around about this time to commune with the Father and one another. Amen. Amen. God bless you guys. We love you.